website, zoom.us slash download. You can also get here by searching Zoom Download and clicking on the first page. Once you are on this website, click this download button. Then click on the Zoom installer on the bottom left corner of your screen. After a while, Zoom should be downloaded on your computer. There are two ways to join a Zoom call. The first is to click on a link that we send you through an email invitation. Click on Open Zoom Meetings and your Zoom should open. Sometimes you will be required to enter a password to join the meeting. If this is the case, the password to the meeting will be provided in the email. Another way to join a meeting is through the Zoom application. Click on Join and input the meeting ID and passcode, which will be provided in the email. Hi, my name is Sonia, and I'm going to be showing you how to use functions of Zoom once you've actually joined your meeting. So I'm going to be showing you that through some pictures of what your Zoom is going to look like once you join it. So first of all, probably the most important function of Zoom is the mute and unmute button. So if you if this is the screen you're looking at, your mute or unmute button is located in the lower left hand corner right here where there's a little microphone picture. So if there is a lot of background noise where you are, there's a lot of noise happening, or if you're in a conversation with someone in real life and you don't want the other people on the meeting to hear it, or you don't want whatever noise going on in your area of the world distracting from whoever's talking in your Zoom meeting, you can just mute yourself and nobody on the call will be able to hear you. So all you have to do to mute yourself is just press this button right here and no one will be able to hear you. When it has a little red slash through it, that means that you're muted and no one can hear you. When it doesn't, and it's just a white microphone, that means you're unmuted and everyone can hear everything you're saying. So to give you a demonstration, I can mute myself right now. And so you couldn't hear me and I was talking. Then right next to the mute button is the video on off button. It's a little camera. So if you're doing something and you don't want the people on the call to see your video, then all you have to do is stop your video. It's the exact same thing. If you stop your video, you just click that button and it'll show a little red slash through it. If you want to turn your video back on and you just click it again and it'll show this white plain camera. So if I do that right now and stop my video, you don't see anything um, or you see a little square with my name on it. And now I'm back. Next is the chat function. So on Zoom, one thing you can do is write things out to people in a chat, like a text message or an email, and everybody will see it pop up on their screen. So that way you can communicate to people if you're muted or if your camera is off um, and tell people things you want them to know, or you can talk to someone individually. So once you click on this button that says chat right here, the bottom of your screen, you will see this. So it will have pre previous messages in it. And then you can type your message in this box where it says type. The box is a little covered by right, right now by this two box. So if you want to talk to everyone, you just select everyone and everyone in the Zoom meeting will be able to see whatever you say. But if you want to talk to a specific person, let's say you wanted to talk to Aiden Crosby, then you would click on his name and then you would be able to type whatever you want as a direct message to him. Next, we have the reactions button. So the reactions button, if you click on it, it will show you five different or six different reactions that you can do, like a thumbs up or a clapping emoji, um, just to react to people without actually reacting facially. And the other thing it will allow you to do is something called raise hand. 
if you raise your hand on Zoom, it'll show you a little yellow hand in the corner of your screen. And that just notifies the host of the meeting so that they know that you want to get their attention and it shows that you want to say something. And la uh, the other thing before the last thing is um, speaker view versus gallery view. So right now, this meeting you're looking at is in gallery view, which means that you can see everybody in the Zoom meeting all at once in tiny little boxes. The way you want to switch to speaker view is by clicking on this thing here that says speaker view. Sometimes it will also just say view and you'll click on it and select speaker view. So at the top right corner of your screen, it's just a simple click. What's putting yourself in speaker view will do is it will make it look like this. So instead of seeing everybody in little boxes, you will see one person as a big box in front of you. And that person will be whoever's microphone is the loudest right now. So whoever's speaking. And then the last thing is leaving the meeting. To leave the meeting, you just have to go down to this tiny little box that says leave right here. And it'll prompt you again. It'll go leave meeting, leave meeting. And you just click it twice and you're able to leave. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful rest of your day.